Hi everyone and welcome to Mediapool. My name is Chi and I'm the third year student who's studying communication media. Today I'm going to talk about Michael Moore and his participatory document journey using his highest grossing documentary Fahrenheit 911 and Roger and Me as the case study. So I'm going to put the outline here so you can have a look. So let's get started. So who is Michael Moore? Michael Moore is an American writer, actor, as well as film director. Till now, he directed 11 documentaries, and among all of them, there are 6 films in the top 100 highest grossing documentaries of all times. That's quite an achievement. And if you look at the money these documentaries are making, the top one is Fahrenheit 911, with incredibly approximately $120 million. At the same time, Moore is an extremely controversial documentary filmmaker among film critics. In 2019, Mark wrote an article and described Michael Moore as a stupid white man and said Michael Moore is everything wrong with the Democrat Party. So what happened in his documentaries? Let's move on to the main features of Michael Moore's documentaries. First of all, the reason why we call Moore's documentary as a participatory journey is because, as Stella Bruzzi argues, Michael Moore always pursuing a subject, a quest, or an idea over time, just like a journey. In here, journey is not a geographical journey from place to place, but as a metaphorical journey. It is he trying to find an answer of something by traveling from place to place, interview to interview, and in the end, the audience will get the answer from his journey. In this way, he himself becomes the central character of his documentaries. Secondly, in his films, Michael Moore always set himself as a focus for identification which means he always act as a little guy who against the odds. As we can see from his films, Roger and Me is about the economic collapse and workers who lost their jobs. Bowling for Columbine is about school shooting, and Sicko is about medical insurance system. Moore's performance placed him on the side of the powerless, that's why he had the ability to recruit the audience to his point of view. The participatory nature of Moore's films and the documentary form that speaks for the disadvantaged means that in his films are strongly subjective. Different from British broadcasting, which all the documentaries are asked to be balanced, that director has to give both sides all the time and shouldn't advocate from one side to another. In Moore's films, he just like an ordinary guy encourages us to see the world from his point of view. At last, Michael Moore's special documentary form is bound to cause ethical issues. For example, in order to achieve comic effect, Moore sometimes put his subjects on screen only to make them appear stupid. Or Moore's commitment to social or political inquiry can be subordinated to his desire to entertain. When the second plane hit the tower, not knowing what to do, Mr. Bush just sat there and continued to read My Pet Goat with the children. So that's all about Michael Moore and his pros and cons about his documentary journeys. If you like the video or think that's useful, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe our media channel.